if you don't mind me asking, how much how much do you get paid for starring in a movie like that? That that now you overall, know I'm assuming you, that that's a, a low budget film. You know you've already heard this because I know it went viral when I already said how much I made. I think I told Jamila <laughs> Hill, and everybody was like, "What? I made four thousand dollars." Hold on, <laughs> Shireen, Shireen, you're telling me you made four thousand dollars for a motion picture? Yes, because think about it like this. So, so the paycheck was like four thousand dollars a week, but we only shot four to eight weeks, right? Uh-huh. So now, when you take half of that from taxes, because I mean it's my first movie, I don't have a you know. Um, uh, an EIN number, you know, I'm getting taxes taken out. Then I have to pay a manager. I have to pay an agent, 5%, 10%. When it was all said and done, I went home with about four grand. Damn. But, but the better lesson in it is, I mean, obviously look at what happened, you know, at this point. But the bigger lesson is Burger King called and said they wanted a scene from the movie that, that was with uh, Play and I where I'm up in the uh-huh. window, and he says, we got to go get kid out of jail. Remember that scene? Yep, absolutely. And I say, I'm not going nowhere. And he's like, come on, come on, we got to go. He's like, if you go, I'll take you to Burger King. And I'm like, Burger King? I'll be right down. You remember that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you're telling me you got a Burger King deal from that movie. And made almost triple quadruple off the commercial that I made doing the film. Get out of here. No lie. So it all worked out for you. I mean, it worked out anyway because, you know, I mean, I've got friendships for life. You know, we are all very much connected and the chemistry and the love has not changed. You know, um, we still giggle and 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 hug and cry and, and, and joke around. We just did an anniversary thing, um, a virtual anniversary thing to, to, uh, to celebrate. And it was so funny because it was the first time that all of us had gotten together. Full force, Reggie, Daryl Chill, uh, me, Kid and Play. It's the first time all of us got together. Um, probably since we filmed, to be honest, all of us were together. And it was the same exact energy, laughing hard, talking to, you know, it just, it was the same thing. And it just made me realize that was just natural for us. Like any, 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 any circumstance you put us in, that's what you're going to get. And mm. I knew that though. I, I knew that, which is why I didn't do House Party 2, 3, and the other ones. Because Because I was going to ask you that. Why didn't you do 2 and 3? Because, honestly, I felt like, first of all, you know, I, I grew accustomed and spoiled by Reggie, who was the creator, and he was not going to be a part of the second one. That's number one. Um, I felt like he had a vision that was not going to be realized um, for my character and for the storyline. I had a vision for my character that wasn't going to be realized. And I just felt like... The, the script that was being written and the movie that was going to be done was not necessarily really respecting what we had created. And I, I just didn't feel like, you know, I had to do it. At that time, too, I was getting movie offers all over the place. I did Sister Act with Whoopi Goldberg. I did um, Dying Young with Julia Roberts. I mean, movie offers were coming in. So I wasn't a slave to the House Party franchise unless it was going to be right for me. And they mm-hmm. just weren't they just weren't talking what I thought the franchise should be. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to pass on that. Uh, You know, LeBron James is talking about doing a reboot of House Party. Are you going to be involved in that? Were you even offered to be involved in it? I was not offered to be involved. Um, I don't don't know if I would have been because I honestly feel like when something is that iconic, Mm -hmm. um, I, I believe in a sequel. I believe in the prequel. That could be cool. But to try to do a reboot, I just think some things are better left undone. You know, they're just better left where they are because it's classic for a reason. And I just don't know any classics that get redone well. So we'll see what happens. I hope I'm wrong. I I don't wish any bad blood. I hope I'm wrong. But, you know, there's only one Shireen, baby. (laughs) (laughs) That's right. That's right. There's only That's one. That's absolutely right. So, you know, we'll okay. see what happens. There's only one charade. Ah! <laughs> right. 